Hey guys, welcome to my channel. And in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can get a status bar like this one here. All right. So many people ask me this question. So I thought, why not just make a video quickly? All right. So uh, let me uh, open my browser. It's actually already open. So this is the program DWM blocks, which I'm using, and it's a pretty small program. So if I clone the code of this, you know, program, get clone, and then, you know, just get the link and all right. So press ls and here you can see the directory which i just cloned so dwm blocks and again ls so this is just one file it's just one c file so it's a really small program and if i you know get dwm blocks and you know pipe it into uh, all right so the 213 lines program all right so it's just a pretty simple thing but the thing which i will recommend you is not to clone this <laughs> i mean uh, you can actually clone my build all right so it's it's uh, pretty similar to this build but um, you know it will save some trouble if like all right so this is actually my build so it's on my github github box writer okay so let me clear the screen and go to the blocks again and press ls so this is my world all right it's it's pretty simpler i mean the only difference is this config.h file so in this configuration file which is just 13 lines and if you delete the comments then it's actually 11 lines all right so not let's not delete this comment because it's important all right so you have to add these uh you know these uh, modules or these lines so what are these lines these lines are basically the commands so like netref is a command volume is a command uh clock is a command all right so let me close this configuration and in my computer if you type netref all right netref so you can see this is basically this thing here so it's actually the you know script output and this is just an emoji all right uh you know volume and some other programs like um i don't know what kind of like clock all right so this is just uh, basic scripts and these are uh, actually uh, these scripts are written by luke smith so uh if you go to you know luke smith void rice okay so this is the repository if you go to dot local and bin and then this status file. So this is the path and I will give the path in the description. So you can download these scripts, whatever you want. Like I want, like in, if you are using a laptop, you might want to, you know, clone this. All right. So uh, not clone actually just download this. All right. So this is the script, copy the link. And uh, I keep all my script in my local bin. All right. So I'm going to duplicate this and it's downloaded. Now he have this SB in the front. Now I don't want this. So let's just rename this to just battery. All right. So uh, if I do LS, you can see this battery. Now this is not executable right now. So let's just make it executable. All right. So, all right, we are done. So now the battery is executable and just run this battery. All right. And now uh, if you see like there is no output because I'm on my PC like computer. All right. So but in your case, if you're running with a, you know, your laptop, it must work. All right. Uh, everything else is working like clock. So these scripts are working and I can run this from anywhere in my computer, not just from local bin. Why? Because in my Z profile, I think Z profile. All right. So I have this export, which is export of the path. Now, remember one thing, this path export should be in your Z profile. Uh, you must have this path set in a way that uh, you don't really need to run your shell in order to, you know, um, execute this line. So make sure when you log in into system, uh, this line must uh, run. All right. So this might be confusing. Just put this line in your Z profile. All right. So Z for profile is just a file. If you're using ZSH, if you're using, oh my God, this thing. Okay. So uh, I, I believe that you can do this. All right. So just make sure that your script must run from anywhere in your computer. Otherwise my build won't work. Okay. So go to my build like dwm blocks just type sudo make install and this is how you will install this file which is basically the dwm blocks program and you know it will you know just run it and yeah i mean it, then wait we are not done all right so your program is installed but in order to run the program you have to put this in your xnet rc here okay so make sure to type 
something like this in your experiment rc or if you just want to test you can also run it from dwm box like from the terminal all right and if you have any new script like any new cool script which you want to add for example like if you write something in your local win let me quickly write write some hello script all right so just a quick script all right so um echo hello viewers all right so this is the let me make it executable hello so hello viewers so let me go to my uh, local win not local plane actually let me go to my dwm blocks and open the config.h and add another line here uh, before like the first line hello all right so i can run hello from anywhere by the way so you can see and wait a second let me install it so it's installed all right so let me pick your dwm blocks and let me install run dwm blocks again so right now it's dead by the way you can see nothing is changing so uh, you can see the all the things but it's not present actually so if i run this again you can see the hello viewers is you know it just it, it's just some output of some script which means that you can almost get anything in your you know status file all right so if you are scraping some price or something you can just have it here so this is pretty cool and uh, if you find this very overwhelming and you don't want to use it uh, you can just use this my like pi stardust thing he used so pi stardust actually one of my friend i you know you you he wrote a and i c l i so uh, he's doing a lot of stuff so uh let me show you so he have this s bar so I like this uh, because it's written in shell all right so uh so he used this thing so you can also uh, just run this thing so it's also pretty sweet so you can install this or just use my way which is ddl blocks all right so it's up to you so hope you guys like this video and if you do it um, like stick for more content and uh, you know thanks for watching I'm a baller, a shot caller, I'm an Arch Linux installer. Your proprietary operating system I wouldn't buy for a dollar. Apt, Pac-Man, DNF2, run them from the terminal, always add sudo. Gnome, gnome, and KDE, too much bloat, so I leave them free.